another episode at Project Perfume in India and today we'll be talking about Christian Dior private blends. The private line of Christian Dior. Uh, Dior is one house which creates breakthrough. The scents are actually revolutionary. They start their own genre. So uh, we have seen Fahrenheit. Back in time, could you, you know, at the time when there were 80s powerhouses everywhere, they came up with a fragrance which smells like gas, gasoline. So that is what I call as a revolutionary house. So Dior is one of my favorite houses as well, just because they make their scents very beautifully and you know, no, no bullshit scents, honestly. Dior Room Intense, another, they, the Dior Room Intense actually started the whole genre of gourmands, imagine. So that is what is Dior all about. Same way Fahrenheit started uh, the whole petroleum vibe in perfumes, I mean, I think still one of the best fragrances which is masculine and at the same time it smells weird so still there's no comparison nobody have been able to create a fragrance like Fahrenheit and now they have come up with Fahrenheit Absolute as well which is a delight Fahrenheit Absolute the Fahrenheit Le Parfum so Absolute they have discontinued and they have come up with the perfume version of Fahrenheit amazing one I mean if you guys have used Fahrenheit long back do check that out it's gonna bring back the old memories and let's get started so we'll be starting with the one which last on the base of longevity the one which uh, lasts the lowest and go climb up the ladder so first one in the dior line is boys the argent right this is the iris based scent people who are uh, suckers for iris they're gonna love it it's very minimal very airy you put few sprays and it's gonna make you happy and people around you wanna ha be happy as well so this one only downside is the performance which is six to seven hours which is as a standalone if you don't compare to other Dior's is pretty good it's pretty good I would say and there is nothing like this nothing smells like this it is absolutely unisex even girls could carry it easily and guys could wear it too so it makes a very pretty decent office wear a pretty decent everyday kind of scent and it's, it's a 250 ml bottle so gonna last pretty long so that's the first one on our list the second one we have this also lasts it's called Lucky. It's the newest one in the line. So they have released a couple of more variants in 2017-18. This is one of them. It's called Lucky. It's a floral scent. At the same time, this is fresh. It's fresh and floral. Lily of the Valley is the most dominant note. So there are guys who love floral scents. This is for you. And girls could wear it as well. Now this one gives me good 10 to 12 hours. Now the other ones actually last more. So this gives you an only downside, only downside is, you know, once you smell it, you get that plasticky vibe and that's there for one minute and that's it. So you have to do not judge this based on the opening. The opening has like plastic vibe, but then it, it comes up very beautifully and it's like orange blossom, lily of the valley are the two keynotes, I would say. And if you are into floral scents, you must check it out. Very clean, got a slightly soapy touch to it as well. So this will also do as a good uh, office scent in a daily driver. It's Lucky by Christian Dior. Next up is one of my favorites as well. It's called Fave Delicious. It's a gourmand, iris, vanilla are the key notes, iris and vanilla and tonka beans too. So tonka beans gives it a better vibe in the opening. And this, this is a polarizing scent. The opening is actually harsh tonka beans. And then it dries down into iris vanilla combination similar to Dior Home Intense. So that's the difference. This one is more heavy on tonka beans compared to Dior Homme Intense or Dior Homme Parfum, which gives it an entirely different DNA. So you compare it to any of the Golden exclusive ones, Spiritus Double Vanille, Angelic Noir. So they all fall into a similar category that gives tonka beans and vanilla combination. Iris is very unique in this one. It's called Feb Delicious. It's not a summer scent, strictly not for summers. You can wear it in the evenings. Why not? You're going to clubbing. Yeah, this works there too. This is a very warm and cozy scent. Very warm and cozy. Feb Delicious. It's a gourmand. Uh, strictly for winters. You guys gonna love this in winters. I can finish this bottle in like two weeks in winters. I'm absolute suck for this one. Next up are actually all right, so this is a very different take on Oud. When I say Dior, they create a breakthrough. This is another product, Purple Oud. Now, Oud is in the name, it's in the content as well, but more than Oud, it's one combination which has never been tried before. That is like, this. the opening is very peppery. Imagine pink pepper, black pepper. 
along with hint of oud that is what it is it's it's very sharp no piercing sharp pepper and topped up by oud oud is there oud will remain close to you but say i am wearing this and you are standing 3 feet beside me all you would get is a sharp pepper but i could smell oud as the person gets closer they would get the vibe of oud as well oud is there but it's in the backdrop it's never in the front in front it's more peppers playing the spice it's a spicy scent absolute niche absolute minimal it's not like you put 12 ingredients and put oud as well and make it a very complex scent no not at all very neat and clean like comparing to uh, lucky that's also very clean similarly it's purple oud oud lovers grab it nothing has been created anything which is close to purple oud go for this one uh, next is very exotic very deep amberish it's called santal noa as the name says it's it has to have sandalwood apart from sandalwood the best part about this this is only second scent in the whole line which has rose in it uh, first is oud is fun which has very dominant rose this has also a dominant rose component into it third one is rose gypsy rose that name says it's rose so that's understood so oud is fun is one dominant rose base and this one has got a uh, lot of woodiness to it. it it's 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 a woody scent along with rose so combination of uh, woody and rose gives it a very exotic vibe a very middle eastern kind of vibe uh, you can't compare it to any scent uh, some people have drawn comparison to girdle and santal royal not at all it doesn't even goes close to that so this is rose amber and woody notes in woody notes sandalwood falls into that so uh, very exotic if you are sucker for amber if you like amber scent amber scent go for this one it's it's a rose if you like rose go for this one simple as that so this one will do the job if you are into oriental scents uh this is not very popular because it's a recent release not many of you would have tested it out so i would be putting decants on our website you can buy a 10 ml test it out and then pull the trigger next up this one doesn't needs any more explanation or any more introduction it's oud isfahan so it's oud and rose combination where I say Montel Black Oud is Oud and Red Rose. This one is Oud and Pink Rose. So as the name says, and th this one is a mass pleaser. It's a mass pleaser. Out of ten, nine people wanna love it. One person would be like, okay, it's good. So this is a mass pleaser, and this this is a new version, 2017 one. So slightly light in color, and this gives ten twelve watts easily. Oud is Pahan by Christian Dior. Uh, ultimate Oud based scent. If you are looking for a oud scent which is not at all you know uh, if you are wearing oud it turns off a lot of people it repels a lot of people if you're looking for a safe oud scent which is mass pleaser oud is fahan is the right choice uh the last one on this list and one of my favorite is leather oud now uh the this one actually you know how oud's gonna smell this smells of proper proper oud so it's very animalic in the opening very animalic it will uh, most of the people who decide based on the opening are going to pass this one and go for oud is fahan but if you wait for the dry down this is a very complex it it's it's the magic magical scent so you put it and it's animalic how it should be so the hardcore oud lover is going to love this one in the dry down the leather comes into the picture along with the other elements and that makes this a beauty this is a head turning fragrance people going to turn around and ask what are you wearing this is one of those kind performance wise it's super beast mode uh 12 15 hours easily and this is again a 2017 bottle and this gives me good 10 to 12 hours if you could get hold of a older bottle that's going to be a dark juice but honestly uh you keep this for a year and this gonna be strong so uh, simple as that day there's no reformulation happened in these one i'll tell you what happens uh, the older udis one is more dark pink but it's not been reformed the formula is exactly the same but they sit on the shelf for say 3 years 4 years and the scent itself mature so if you put this for 2 years and this going to get stronger so you that's how it is so if you're putting up 2014 udis fahan and 2018 udis fahan there would be a difference because the older one has been sitting and getting macerated for a longer time simple as that so otherwise from the brand there have hasn't been any reformulation it's just a time gap that comes so this about the uh, private collection of christian dior i'm going to recap just have a look i'm going to put them on the website you can buy decants as well the discovery sets as well 
uh, links in the description below. It's Moet signing off.